One of the other things I wanted to ask you about, there's been a lot of uh, highly publicized stories in the rap game over the past couple of years about, and, and also in the streets, where you know certain people get exposed for being gay or whatever, and uh, you know the fans inevitably have a lot of opinions, <clears throat> a lot in favor of them usually, and a lot of people against it. Uh, how do you feel when that kind of shit erupts? About like gay stuff and shit. Yeah, because I mean, you know, you come from a gang background, which is probably like one of the the least welcoming uh, places for that kind of thing. But then also, you know, you've been around the world, you've seen everything that the world has to offer, and I'm sure that you probably don't harbor that same kind of feelings, right? Yeah, I had a, I had a, my mom had a cousin when I was like ten years old who like died from AIDS, and he was gay, and that was my first time ever knowing about anything um you know like in that in that community um and then you know of course growing up in the 80s and 90s like to be gay was to be frowned upon so nobody really like everybody well everybody kind of strayed away from it and my dad was like when i was younger heavy on like oh these faggots and all oh, this is gay motherfucker and all doing that and sort of had me like that a little bit right mm. but then when i got older and i started to realize that like who the fuck am I to judge somebody, number one, on their sexual preference or what they do? Uh, like, they just live in their life. And if that person is a good person and a good person to me, then shit, I accept them. I, it's not, I, like, I'm not gay, but if you choose to be gay, then I support you choosing to be gay because I, I, I would support anyone making a positive decision or doing something that makes them happy on earth for the most part. You know what I'm saying? Like, I push positivity. Like, if that's going to make you happy and that's what you want to be and that's what you want to do, then I allow you to do that. Like, I mean, not allow you, but I, I like, go off. You know what I'm saying? So I don't have no problem. I got I, I actually got some gay friends who cool as a motherfucker. Mm -hmm. They cool, super cool humans, better humans than some niggas who ain't gay. And so uh like I don't I'm I'm not in the uh, you gay, I uh, watch out or none of that. Like I support that whole they whole community. It ain't nothing wrong with people making decisions to be happy. Mm -hmm. And if that's what makes them happy, then cool. Like you get all my support. Okay, but on a and I totally agree, but on a street level people were pretty shocked when they saw young boy go out of his way to do a song with Lil Nas X and I believe he did a song with McConan as well right so people were looking at him like you're supposed to be the street rapper <clears throat> and you're out here just like going out of your way to do songs with a bunch of gay rappers how is that congruent is is Elton John Elton John's gay right yeah yeah so Elton John's gay and people collaborate with Elton John mm -hmm. all the time and like I seen yeah uh like um, I can't remember who the last person that collaborated with uh, Elton John, but like, who gives a fuck? Like, mm. Nas X is a cool dude. You know what I'm saying? He's, he's he's a superstar, man. I love fucking Old Town Road. That shit was a fucking like. I love when songs come around like that and really just take over and end up being like the biggest song. And for that to come from a young black kid is cool with me. I don't care if he if he if he if he's gay. When I listen to Old Town Road, I don't feel like I'm listening to gay music. Mm. And even if it was gay music, like uh, Saucy Santana be uh, <laughs> like on the internet, like twerking and shit. And like that shit makes me laugh because it's like he really is convicted and into that, um, into his, you know, his his character and being that that type of rapper. But that, his, and he makes some fucking good, or I don't know if it's call him she or they, or I don't want to offend nobody. <laughs> I think it's but he. Yeah, he. Saucy Santana like on that motherfucker doing him. Right. So why do I care? I'm doing me. But do you think that you could ever find a Saucy Santana song that you would want to drive around bumping in the whip? Uh, me personally, I haven't really bumped like Saucy Santana songs, but I do like when he hit, when he hits the internet like on stage and his outfit is matching from head to toe and he fucking killing or slaying or whatever they call it. <laughs> like that shit is funny to me. That shit cool. I don't have no problem with that because that's his lifestyle right. and I'm watching it. Right. Like he shouldn't have a problem with my lifestyle and how I'm living it if he's watching me. It's just we chose two different uh, lifestyles and two different um, sexual preferences, but it's nothing wrong with us existing right. um, in a in the world together. All right, people, we just hit 300,000 subscribers. You know we're trying to hit 400,000 subscribers. So that little red button, tap it, tap in. Appreciate y'all.